Hi, my name is Jim. I'm here from Ramsey and Washington County Fix-It Clinic. I'm here to troubleshoot and repair a lamp. So here we have a lamp and uh, the customer gave it to me and she said, well, it just doesn't work. So the next step would be to uh, determine if it's a cord or if it's a, if it's a, a switch itself, a socket. Irregardless, about 90-95% of the problem is going to be the socket itself. So we're going to replace the socket and one thing I want to keep in mind would be to when you guys replace a socket or when you replace a light bulb, I mean, you want to disconnect, dis disconnect electricity if, if, it's, if you know it's present there or not. Okay, so uh, as far as taking this thing apart, this thing is just sort of wedged inside there. And you're just gonna pull it out like that. And you got the outside housing, okay? And then you got down on the bottom here, you have, where the wire goes through, you're going to just feed some wire through the bottom and pull this out through the top like that. Okay, guys? And you see that's not that knot there? That's there deliberately. Um, that's the knot is there for strain relief. Strain relief meaning that if you had this thing back in place, try to pull on the cord, you're not gonna pull the wires out of the socket, out of the connectors, okay? So this is very important. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna cut this one, this off, and we're gonna take, cut the insulation off and, and put these wires back on the new socket, okay? And then another thing with these, these cords, you're gonna notice that, which is very important, the safety aspect of it, the cord. Sometimes the cord's gonna feel, the one side's gonna feel rough, and the one side's gonna feel smooth. Uh, one might be silvery, one might be copper. Um, in this case, the cord actually has lettering on it, and that lettering is gonna tell you that that's the neutral side. You wanna make sure the neutral side goes to silver side, okay? Silver, neutral. So we're gonna cut this wire off, and probably cut about, about an inch, inch or less, about three quarters of an inch off, guys. Let's see. You can take a scissors, Take a utility knife, just want to cut the insulation off to get at the actual wire itself. There we go. Okay, and you want to twist. We take it off, twist the wire counterclockwise. So when it, you screw it on, it, the wire is not going to uh, flare out on you. So I got that one, got that one right there. Okay, and next up would be to put the knot in it, which we got to have. Yeah, you gotta have a knot in there. All right, so this was this is the side with the lettering on it. You wanna twist the wires counterclockwise. And then uh, we got the new switch. And then uh, this goes on to the silver, silver side here. And loosen that up. And twist it around the screw. And then tighten it down with Hold one hand, tighten down with the other one. There. Just like that. Okay. And then we got the gold one, which is going to be your hot wire. That's the one that's not marked. And do the same thing with that. Twist them counterclockwise. And attach it to there. Try to wrap the whole wire around the screw. Perfectly. All right, there we go. Okay, and then you're gonna pull this back down, the cord back down, and here comes the fun part, trying to get this thing to, trying to get that shoved in there. Don't give you much room in these things. All right, let's see how that's gonna work. And put this on. That just, it just uh, sort of just pressed in there. 
just a matter of getting it going far enough so it doesn't come out again. There, like that. Okay. And uh, then you have your your knob, the off and on. All right. Now you hear that click? That gives me an indication that the switch is working versus the other one, which, see, there's nothing. So we got this, everything all back together, and now we're gonna try to see if this thing functions okay. Notice I got the three-way bulb, the two, one, two, three conductors, and I got the correct socket for it. So I plug this in. You wanna plug this in before you, before you plug the cord in. It's low, medium, high. Bingo. You can learn more about fixing everyday items by visiting these websites.